Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you the advantage of template-based cooking uh, using a fire-eye dish as an example. Uh, have you ever stand in front of the refrigerator and scratching your head and wonder what you are going to cook for dinner? Uh, I have done that far too many times than I care to remember, uh, particularly after a long day. Uh, more than often, I pick up the phone and call and I fall into the bad food cycle again. Uh, I know my reason for the frustration of my home cooking. I simply get bored and tired with what I'm cooking and eating. Uh, Here is an example. I used to cook a ham fried rice over and over again using a recipe that somebody gave it to me. Uh, I make it as simple and quick as possible, uh, but unfortunately, after a few times, I get bored with it and I quit making it. Uh, now when I told my friend that I never make the same fried rice again, uh, they won't believe me. Uh, they think I'm just bragging. Uh, when I explain to them how this is being done, uh, they realize that how simple it is. And this is what I want to show you in this video. Uh, I use the concept of template-based cooking, and this is simple and straightforward. Now let's imagine you are a condominium builder. Uh, you want to build units that other people recognize that it is being condominium. But you don't want to build the same unit over and over again because it gets boring. Uh, so you develop a template that is common for all condominiums, uh, but you vary them in size, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, etc. Uh, so by using the same approach, uh, you can develop a template for fried rice that other people will recognize it being fried rice. Uh, now you can make variations uh, to your fried rice by adjusting to uh, nutritional preferences, taste preferences, ingredients, uh, just like you are building condominiums of different variations. Uh, therefore, it is the same concept to recognize what defines fried rice as what defines condominiums. Uh, a fried rice template is the foundation for all fried rice, and from the templates, it comes variations. Uh, so let me point out some of the key components of the fried rice template and demonstrate to you how it actually works. Uh, number one, rice. Uh, obviously, the rice is the critical aspect of a fried rice. The texture of the fried rice turned out to be the most important. Uh, it is to be dry and slightly crunchy. A soggy rice definitely will ruin the fried rice. Therefore, the first step in achieving this template is to master how to make the rice with the right texture. Uh, just imagine having a hamburger with a soggy bun. Uh, number two, size of the ingredient. Uh, it is very important in a fried rice is that all the ingredients and the rice blend together. A uh, size of the ingredients turn out to be really important. This is what people would expect. Uh, just imagine you have huge chunks of carrot in a coleslaw. Uh, number three, a texture of the ingredients. Uh, here we can start to see variations of the template. Uh, most people like their ingredients to blend well with the texture of the fried rice. However, some people would like to add some crunchiness to it. Uh, number four, flavor. I used to season my uh, fried rice only with soy sauce because that is what traditionally used. Uh, now I recognize as long as I retain the primary characteristics of the fried rice template, I could season it with almost anything, all the way from using Parmesan cheese uh, to ketchup. Uh, as you can see, template-based cooking is flexible, uh, creative, and spontaneous, whereas uh, recipe-based cooking tend to be repetitious, restrictive, and redundant. I used to make my ham fried rice uh, once several weeks, but now I make fried rice almost every week because I make it different each time. Uh, I used to uh, hate to make fried rice because it seems to be tedious, but now I really enjoy it because it is a time that I could be creative and innovative. Uh, prepping in advance is a tremendous advantage because now I can easily choose and pick what I want to use. And furthermore, I can make my fried rice in less than 10 minutes. Uh, for me, template-based cooking is the solution. Uh, there may be some real investment in the beginning, but it will pay off handsomely. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.